Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Day of the Dead School Remastered. This should be the last episode. Let's see how time goes. So anyway, we've got to rescue Dr. Fred. And the kind of clue here is that he's wrapped up. And we know one other, one other person who's just the same. Yes, Cousin Ted. But, he's white. Ted is red. See red Ted. Hey, Ted. How am I going to get Dr. Fred out of that room without that big goon stopping me? Maybe I can overpower the IRS guy somehow. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. Talkative as always? Where's the music gone? Yes, two last things to do. And this puzzle isn't so obvious at first. I mean, the first time I played it, it took me a long time to work it out. I'm pretty sure I resorted to walkthroughs. Saying that, I think there's very few adventure games where I haven't used walkthroughs for at certain points. Surely this won't fail. Especially with his uh, rippling biceps. Okay, another trip upstairs. I'm pretty sure it's only Hoagie's timeline where Ted doesn't end up saving the, saving the day in some way. Hey, Ted! Okay, I thought there'd be more dialogue here. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. I wouldn't know where to put him. I hope he's comfortable. Hey, Ted! Oh. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. Hmm, thought I heard something. Everything okay in there? Well, try and keep it down, okay? I've noticed in this episode, well, I know, I know I'm only a few minutes in, but this episode and the last episode, there seems to be some problems with, with the subtitles. Dr. Fred must still be asleep. I can't carry him. Oh, yes. How could I forget? Please don't tell me he's wrapped that round his neck.
Okay, so work one way. Let's try the other. The weave is quite fascinating. Actually, a reverse double overlap which makes for phenomenal strength. Nah, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Oof! Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. I'd rather not. I better not. My scoutmaster warned me to be careful. I might slosh it all over his face. And? He's already unconscious. Decaf might kill him. But it's worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. I've never tried that before. Damn good coffee! I got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Okay, so read it first. I'm busy trying to think of a way to save humanity. I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Damn you. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. But the whole human race is at risk. Of course! That's why I'm busy trying to think of a way to save it! I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. No. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Okay, I, I don't know exactly what happens with the... This whole thing gets and skipped. Sign it or I'll get real mad. And do what? Not be my friend anymore? <laughs> ha ha ha. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? I guess I can't. Hey, did you join a record club lately? Good God, no! Those things are horrible money-leeching death traps! Well, there's a delivery man upstairs with a carton of easy-listening 8-tracks for you. He says you have to pay for them. Ah, not again! Unless you sign this refusal form immediately. <laughs> Thanks. That was a close one. Well, good luck. Okay, that was new to me as well. Usually I go for the tentacle petition because that's kind of the obvious thing, but it worked. I'm happy. So the problem, problem is this is now out of date. Well, easy solution.
Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we, uh, have to pay you two million dollars in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron! When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent! This is an emergency! Goodbye, Hoagie. I think this is the only working phone in the house. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um... It's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post light speed delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I'd better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the Sledgeomatic! Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same stall. Didn't you see the fly? Some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's purple tentacle! It's green tentacle. What was that green? Purple tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. 
We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojon. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the Sludge-O-Matic. No one is to touch the Sludge-O-Matic. Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed Diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa! It wears off! Aha! Run for it! Damn! The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Maybe he won't find us. You who, where are you, human? So, here we are. And looking a little bit different. So I'm pretty sure we're restricted of weird locations at this point. No time for that now! Well, not really, but there's not much we can actually do in these rooms. So let's just continue on. Aha! Uh-oh! Take that! And this! Drat! Hmm... I'm pretty sure you can't get to this door in, out of the hallway. So the mouse hole is your only route. Come on. No time for that now. Okay. We seem to have lost all the inventory. Maybe in the whole transformation things happened. Hey! Where'd he go? Where's that? Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Okay, so there's only one real option now.
Excuse us. What is it? I'm pretty sure this is breaking a massive paradox. Anyway. Could you let us pull that lever over there? No chance. Now, buzz off. Excuse us. What is it? Would you mind hopping out to get us some Chinese food? Nice try, but we're not budging. Now, buzz off. Excuse us. What is it? Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. The only three-headed monkey here is in front of us. Now, buzz off. Well played, good sir. Excuse us. What is it? Which one of you is the real purple tentacle? We all are, Dopey. Weren't you paying attention earlier? Now, buzz off. Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! Well... I'm guessing this is a massive clue. Considering that this is the only thing in your inventory right now. But I suppose back up there, if you didn't know to pick it up, you might not have picked it up. Because you couldn't before. Great! Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans are so short-sighted. <laughs> Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. Just what is it you have against humans, anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. So? You wouldn't understand. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. But humans created the sludge matic which made you super intelligent. Nonsense. I created that myself and sent it back through time. I knew Fred's mad scientist ego would make him use it. How's that for a paradox? So many paradoxes. Who, Fred? But there's only one of him. Right. Anyway, you can see why I detest humans. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. I see. Soon the rest of the world will too. Are you really a future version of Purple Tentacle? Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the Diminuator? Can you remember stuff that hasn't happened yet? Naturally. How is it that you can grow hair without follicles? It wasn't easy, but the secret made me very wealthy. Are you sure you're a future version of Purple Tentacle? 
I said I was, did I not? Could you give us some stock tips? Don't invest in shoes. <laughs> do the sharks ever have a winning season? No, but the tentacles do. <laughs> do we manage to defeat you and save the world? Of course not. Bummer. Are you more or less intelligent than the purple tentacle from our time? The same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Nice try. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. Sounds like you just hate Dr. Fred. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Right, I'm pretty sure this is the final thing to do in the game. So, I'm going to leave the commentary here and let you enjoy the rest of the game. Um, I've enjoyed this remaster. This It's not perfect by a fair bit. But it's enjoyable. I'm glad I invested and it's helped me relive some memories. So, thank you for watching this LP. And I'll hopefully see you again with another project soon. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. <coughs> oh, drat. Ah, surely we can talk this out. Talk? Surely. Wait! You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine! <laughs> all mine! Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. You're not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes.
Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. <laughs>